Hello and welcome. In this session, we'll take a brief look at machine learning and deep learning based classification operators that are available in Ardas Imagine 2018. Machine learning and deep learning technologies are a class of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been around quite a while, but with the advent of big data and high performance machines, both machine learning and deep learning technologies have come to the forefront. Machine learning technology and remote sensing applications have a natural fit in part because of the vast amount of data generated and processed in the remote sensing industry. Remote sensing applications have been using these technologies for a long time. For instance, Ardas Imagine has been using Bayesian network in feature extraction for years. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence that provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. By this, we mean that Systems that use machine learning algorithms learn from data by training the algorithms using control data, and then they can be used to solve problems using the knowledge it gained during the training process. Deep learning is also a type of machine learning. It differs from machine learning in the way how they are trained and perform classification. Let's take a look. To train a machine learning algorithm, you collect training data, and then you select what attributes of the training data you want to use for the training. You train the algorithm based on the selected attribute of the training data. The same goes when you do classification. You give the trained algorithm the data to be classified along with the attribute to use for the classification. The data to be classified has to have the same attributes that is used for training the algorithm. For example, if you have a project for classifying images into built up and green areas, the first thing you will do is to manually identify built up and green areas in the image that will be used for training the machine learning algorithm. You will also select what attributes of these areas will be used for training the algorithm. In this case, we may select NDVI as the attribute to distinguish built-up areas from green spaces. Once the algorithm is trained to identify built-up areas and green spaces based on their NDVI values, the next step is to perform classification. To classify an image into built-up area and green spaces, you first compute the NDVI value for the image and pass it to the machine learning algorithm. The trained algorithm will classify each pixel of the image as built up or green space based on their NDVI value. However, in deep learning, you don't select what attributes of the data to use for training and classification. The algorithm itself will look at the training data and pick the most appropriate attributes of the training data to use for training. Let's go back to the example we discussed earlier. You want to classify images into built up and green areas. In deep learning, what we do is select image subsets or chips that show built up areas and green spaces. And we pass these image chips to the deep learning algorithm. The algorithm will analyze the training data and decide what attributes of the data to use to train itself. When you do classification, you simply pass the image to be classified to the algorithm. The trained deep learning algorithm will extract the attributes it has identified as relevant for the classification and classify the image based on the extracted information. So that's one of the most important differentiator between machine learning and deep learning. There are some more differences that arise mainly due to this. First, 
very large training data set is needed for training deep learning algorithms. This is partly because the algorithm has to analyze the data and select attributes to use for the training. Machine learning algorithms do not need such a large training data. Also, because deep learning algorithms are trained using very large training data, it takes considerable amount of time to train them. Lastly, you need high performance machine and adequate memory and processing power to train deep learning algorithms. As I said earlier, in Erdas Imagine 2018, we have introduced several machine learning and deep learning uh, based classification operators. Uh, let's look at the machine learning operators first. I have grouped them into five categories here. In the first category, you see the initialized class of operators. And these operators are operators that can be used for training a machine learning algorithm with data. We have implemented five supervised machine learning algorithms as operators and the choice of which one to use depends on the characteristic of your training data. Once you have trained any one of the five machine learning algorithms and create a machine intellect, you can pass the machine intellect to the classify using machine learning operator to perform classification. The classify using machine learning operator can take the machine intellect generated by any of the initialized operator. We have one unsupervised machine learning classification operator, uh, namely classify using k-means. This is an unsupervised machine learning operator and does not need training and can be used to separate data into a specified number of clusters. We also have input and output operator for saving machine intellect to a file and reading it back from a file. A machine intellect is basically a trained machine learning algorithm. You can use the machine intellect information operator to get information about a machine intellect in much the same way as you would use a raster information operator. Let's look at the deep learning operators. In the same fashion as the machine learning operators, we have the initialized group of operators that are used for training. And we have two operators in this group. The initialized inception operator is a pre-trained operator based on the work done by Google. Inception is a deep learning algorithm that's designed, built, and trained by Google. We have picked that up and made it available in Imagine. Of course, it needs to be retrained for your data and the application that you have in mind. Um, initialized deep intellect operator is another operator which gives you the power to design, build, and train your own deep learning network. We have operators that will be used as building blocks when designing and building your own deep network. These are the defined class of operators Operator's host name starts with define and are shown separately here. The others are the same as what we have seen for the machine learning operators. This concludes this session. Thanks for listening.